Hi Emma, um, could you please perform a hip examination on Vivian for your finals exam please? Okay. Thank you. Hi, my name's Emma, I'm one of the fifth year medical students. Can I ask your name please? My name is Vivian Silva. Okay. Hi, it's nice to meet you Vivian. I've been asked to do an examination of your hips today. Just involved me having a look and a feel and asking you to do some movements at your hip. Does that sound okay? Yeah. Okay. Do you have any pain in your hips at all today? Yeah. Um, if it's alright with you as I'm going through the examination, I'll talk back to my examiner, explain the type of things that I'm looking for and what I'm doing. Does that sound okay? Yeah. So the first thing I'm going to ask you to do is if you could stand up for me. So ideally for hip examination, I'd like um, to be able to see Vivian's hips be completely exposed, but for the purposes of dig dignity, we'll let her keep her um, shorts on. Mm -hmm. So I'm just looking for any um, obvious abnormalities or deformities, such as a pelvic tilt. Can you turn to your right for me? Any excessive lumbar lordosis? Any surgical scars? Could you turn to the right again for me? Any wasting of the gluteal muscles? Turn to your right again for me. Or any skin changes? Okay, you can face me again. Now I'd like to see you walk if that's okay. So if you could walk to the end of the room, turn around and walk back please. Okay. So I'm just looking at the symmetry and smoothness of the gait. Ability to turn on the spot and Ellie Trendelenburg gate. Okay, thank you very much. You can hop back on the couch for me now, please. Are there any other types of gate you might be looking for? Um, you could look for an antalgic gait, which is if um, Vivian had any pain when she would be limping. Okay. So at this point, I just have a look, closer look at your hips. Is there any abnormalities that I might have missed earlier? At this point, I could also offer to measure apparent and true leg length. So apparent would be from your umbilicus to the medial malleolus and true from the asis to the medial malleolus. Okay, I'm going to move on to having a feel of your legs, of your hips. Um, do you mind? I'm just going to take the temperature. Okay, brilliant. Now I'm going to have a feel, so let me know if there's any pain or tenderness at any point. So just feeling along the asis and the anterior joint line and the trochanter. Okay, and the same on this side. Any pain there at all? No. Okay, brilliant. Now I'm going to ask you to do some movements at your hip. So if you could bend this knee up to your chest as far as you can, please. And relax it back down. And the same with this one. And relax it back down. Now this time I'm going to do the movements for you. So just keep your legs relaxed. I'm just going to pop my hand under your back. This is flexion of the hip. Um, to test extension of the hip, I would ask you to turn on the, onto your front. Would you like me to do that? That's fine. No, Continue. okay. So next thing I'm going to test is um, abduction, that adduction of the hip. So that's just going to bring your leg out to the side, across, and the same on this side. I'm just stabilising Vivian's hip with my other hand. Okay, brilliant. And keep your legs relaxed. I'm just going to roll them see the rotation of your hip. And if you bend this knee up for me, I'm just going to do external and internal rotation. Same on this side. Bend your knee for me. So that's external and internal rotation. Okay. Now if you can bend both your knees up to your chest and let the farthest one drop back down onto the bed. I'll keep my hand under your back and lift it back up again and drop this one down to the bed. Okay, that's great, thank you. If you could just step up off the bed for me again. I'm going to do what's called Trendelenburg's test. So this is where I'm going to ask you to stand on one leg at a time. I'm going to feel for your hips. You can use my arm to balance if you need to. So if you could stand on one leg for me. Okay, and then the other leg. I'm testing the planted leg AB ductors. Okay, thank you. That completes the exam. You can get comfortable and sit back down. To complete my examination, I'd like to examine the joint above at the spine and below at the knee, do a neurovascular assessment of the lower limb and look at any available imaging of the hip. So in summary, today I examined Vivian's hips. On inspection, there were no obvious abnormalities or deformities. Her gait was smooth and symmetrical. On palpation, there was no increase in temperature, swelling or tenderness around the joint. Movement was good in all directions and on passive and active movement. 
and special tests, Trendelenburg and Thomas's test were negative. In oh. summary, this is a normal examination. Okay, thank you. You can move to your next station.